In this video, I'm going to share with you some common PPC mistakes and their solution. Because there are many of the beginner PPC mistakes which most of the people do in the initial days and due to those mistakes, their PPC will not work and they keep spending money on their PPC without getting too much sales and good return. So right after watching this video, you will be able to completely understand those mistakes and their solution and believe me, those are very common and silly mistakes and you can actually improve those mistakes and correct those mistakes within 5 to 10 minutes right after watching this video. So that's why I'm saying that this video is too much important for you and if you watch a short video, then it can help you a lot in saving your money from PPC and you can actually utilize that money efficiently on your Amazon PPC campaign so you can get good results, good ACoS and that can actually help your product to rank on Amazon searches so you can get organic orders as well along with the PPC. So if you want to learn all of those mistakes and after learning you want to correct your mistakes then keep on watching this short video completely till the end step by step because I'm going to be explaining you each and everything in detail with solution. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. So the number one mistake is that when people start running automatic campaign for their product on Amazon PPC and they start getting good results after one or two weeks, then they think that automatic campaign is everything and their manual campaign is not performing good. So they close the manual campaign and they keep relying on the automatic campaign, increase the budget of that campaign and sometimes create multiple automatic campaign. So that is a big mistake because automatic campaign is just to get the data like the meaning of Amazon automatic campaign is that you are creating an advertising campaign on Amazon PPC and you are basically allowing Amazon to show the advertise of your product anywhere where Amazon want. It can be on first page of Amazon, it can be on searches, it can be on multiple keywords and it can be on your competitor product page. So in reality in automatic campaign you are giving free hand to Amazon to display your product wherever Amazon want. So initially when Amazon start displaying the ad of your product to multiple searches and listing then you start getting good sales but if you run automatic campaign for a long term then it will not give you the good return on your ad spend. So that is a mistake. So the solution of that mistake is when you start running your Amazon PPC campaign, automatic campaign, so you can just run for two or three weeks or maybe four weeks and after running that campaign, you need to reverse that campaign and see from which keyword that campaign bring you results. And then you will be able to finalize that these keywords are working for your product and these keywords are not working for your product. So after testing that automatic campaign, when you get the data, when you get a good keyword, you can actually utilize all of those keywords and create some manual campaign for that with low competition and good bids. And if you do so, then your manual campaign can actually give you profit and good Good return on long term. Now the mistake number two which is when people start running their campaign either manual or automatic campaign and they don't see the results after two or three days and in order to start getting more orders they basically increase the budget of that whole campaign which basically ruin their PPC campaign and by the end of the week they ending up losing too much money and too much budget without having good sale. So the solution of this problem is if your campaign is not working so try to work on your campaign on the keywords of your campaign on the bids of your campaign maybe by changing your keywords or changing your bid can start bringing you results instead of increasing the whole budget of your campaign because the budget which you allocate to a campaign is the budget that you are allowing that campaign to spend that budget to bring the sale but if the keywords in your campaign are not good or maybe high competitive or if the bids are not good so no matter if you put $10 budget $50 budget or even $100 budget then that budget will be utilized to all of those wrong keyword with wrong bids. So if your campaign at $10 budget is not performing good, so how can anyone expect that same campaign to start working at $100 budget? If that campaign can lose your $10 budget, so the same campaign can lose your $100 budget. So it is a complete myth that if your campaign is not performing, so you have to increase the budget. No, you have to stay in your budget. Instead of that, you have to work on the keywords. You can just read some non-performing keyword and put some new keyword which are long tail and low competitive and try to set the bids of all of those keywords wisely. Now let's move on to our third mistake, which is multiple ad group under one campaign. Yes, this is the mistake which I have seen with a lot of people that they create one campaign and then under that one campaign, they start creating multiple ad sets just to get more results by spending less budget. But that is totally wrong. So the solution of this problem is, for example, if you have created one campaign having $50 per day budget and you are having one ad set under that campaign, so the whole $50 budget will be utilized by that ad group. And that ad group will be having the enough budget to play around with the keywords and the bids and to start showing your ads to customer and get the behavior of maximum customer 
customer because as you know that PPC is like an AI algorithm and with the passage of time when PPC put some signals into the market and get the results so with time PPC learn about your product and the keyword like which keywords are highly matching to your product and which are not so by the passage of time like two days four days or five days PPC understand that these kind of keyword bringing sales to you and these kind of keyword not. So if you give enough budget, let's suppose $50 to that ad group, so it will be easy for that ad group to utilize that whole budget. But on the other hand, if you create one campaign with $50 budget and under that campaign, if you create five ad group, so that means each ad group will get $10 to spend. So in that low budget of $10, that ad group will not be able to explore the audience properly, explore the keyword and explore the audience behavior. And due to that lack of budget, it will not be able to get the maximum data of your audience so even after running that campaign for one week your ppc will not perform better but it will perform poor with time so basically these are the three top mistakes which i have seen that many of the people do and right now i hope that you have completely understand these three mistakes and right after watching this video you'll write those mistakes into your notes and later you will not repeat those mistakes so later when you apply this solution to your ppc and start getting good results then don't forget to tell me in the comment box below so the other people who are watching this video can also get motivation and can get good results so that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.